Uh, but like I was, we in our review on Get Real, we, we talked about how every Indiana Jones movie, with the exception of Temple of Doom, always has like a historical message behind it. There's always like uh, something historical in it. Uh, obviously, Nazis and, and raiders and loot Last Crusade, communism, like we talked about, and uh, Skull. And in this one, it's... Uh, there probably was some embedded in the Temple of Doom one, but I'm just really not familiar it's, with... Like, it's not. There's not. East Asian it's, all, it's all... Well, I mean, like, cultural, no, in a way. No, well, except for cultural. The really, except for the really awful stuff there's in the very, palace There's very ra- racist stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, except for the really awful there's stuff very, in the palace scenes. Yeah, no, there is nothing cultural. That, that, is, com- that is a complete fantasy movie right there. That okay. is complete fantasy right there. Uh, really, the Temple of Doom is its own standalone movie. It's not really a part of that. I, I never really look at it as a part of that trilogy because... You saw those characters from the movie. You never saw those characters again. You never heard from them again. At least when it came to Raiders, you you heard about. Wait, does Shore Round make a? Never again. Does he make an appearance in Dial of Destiny? No, I'll go ahead and spoil that for you. No, none of those people ever come back. Marion Ravenwood's in Raiders. She comes back in Kingdom. Uh, You know, you have uh, and then Willie uh, something. No, no, no. You're you're thinking of no. You're thinking of Temple. Yeah. Yeah, right. She doesn't make Marcus Brody is in the first one and the third one. Uh, Indy's dad is in the third one, yeah. and then gets mentioned in the yeah, fourth. Yeah, it's one. great. <laughs> yeah, Sala is in the first, the third, and the new one. They, like, well, they obviously set it up like he was probably old enough to be yeah. dead, to be dead. What, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that the Temple of Doom characters don't matter. That is a standalone movie. That is not in the group. That they that is it's, its own. It's okay, though. That's its own. Really, it's its own entity because none of nobody is ever I guess, mentioned. I guess. From those I guess the only yeah. historical things they really reference are like the British colonization of India. I guess that's kind of mentioned in passing. Yeah, but like that's already happened. Like yeah. it's it's not it, that's not something that's current. Right. It's already been done. It's already happened. So it's you know why talk about it? It really there's no big deal. But like Nazism obviously is the first and third, yeah. and it's and it's sort of. I guess of, I guess they really only they only reference like the Nazis because they give you the big bad villain to fight against. Well, it's in that. Well, again, the first an, an easy big bad villain. Well, no, the first one and the third one take place in the 30s. And yeah. If 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 there's anybody on the planet in the 1930s that was trying to get his hands on something that would help him conquer the world, it would be Adolf Hitler. Right. And then obviously in the 1950s, it would be the the communists, the right. the extreme communists. It would have been Kate Blanchett. Yes, exactly. Uh, and in this one, we return back. We return to the Nazis because there's an there's an old Nazi. He's coming back, yeah. Do they like find him in South America? No, he's a, he's in a, America. He's oh okay. It, as a matter of fact, the main bad guy. Spoiler: the main bad guy in this movie was the was the man. It, they credit he's credited in the movie as being the guy that created the everything that got the astronauts to the moon. So like he's responsible for us going to the moon. It's actually very. It's kind of terrifying. Okay, it's kind of terrifying, really. The whole plot. Uh, but I'm going to give away one giant spoiler right now. Sure. Because they. No, I'm not going to see this movie. Because they. Well, I, w- I just want everyone, if you want to click off for just a second, come back here in a minute. Uh, there's a huge, huge, bigly huge spoiler in this movie uh, that I'm going to ruin for you right now. And you're probably not going to care. But you mentioned, is there any like cultural message? There is one. It's dying in Vietnam. Okay, that's. I mean, I don't. I don't think you can address the 1960s without addressing Vietnam. Are you ready? Okay. Mutt died in Vietnam. Okay. Shia, Shia, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf's character died. Dies. In I think Vietnam. I actually kind of knew that. Did you? I think I. I watched like a. Did you read that the, somewhere? The Red Letter Media review of it. I just watched it. Oh, you watched the R. Uh, you watched Half in the Bag. Yeah, yes, I just yes. watched that. So yeah. Like, it's fine. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what happened to Mutt. Obviously, they weren't going to bring Shia LaBeouf back because nobody liked him in the in the last film. I thought he was fine. I, really. Here's the thing: I didn't hate him. I I referred to him as the Wesley Crusher of Indiana Jones. He's I don't a character that is. Wow, well, you're just you're just you're not. What do you call yourself a nerd? I'm just, I'm just not a man of culture. Star like Trek. You. Star Trek: The Next Generation. So yeah, uh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, if you know Star Trek: The Next Generation, you know that Wesley Crusher was a, uh, you know, love hate character. He was he's annoying in some episodes. He's really great in others. Uh, and that's kind of wh- how I felt about uh, Mutt in this movie, or in, or in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. He was great in some parts and annoying in others. I don't hate the character, but I'm glad he wasn't going to be in this new one. That being said... What happened to Marion? Because they got married at the end of the last movie. I, I don't want to give that away. I told you, one one big spoiler is all okay. I was going to get. 
I'll, I'll tell you off air. I'm not. Okay. I'm not going to spoil that for you. But they actually like have like a conclusion to that. Yes, there's okay. a conclusion. Um, she dies in Vietnam. Too. No, no, she didn't go fight in Vietnam. She would have been 70 years old at that point. It wouldn't. I don't think she would have been allowed to fight in Vietnam. But, but yeah, but that's my point. It's like you know, I, I kind of liked that they they made a historical reference to Vietnam. But I hate that Mutt had to die. You could just say he's off doing something. But no, they had to go full on. He's dead. So. I mean, That's what happened not? to Mud. That's what happened to Mud. Spoiler. All right. Spoiler over. Turn up the radio. We're back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Mud's dead. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's fine. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf's character. Oh no. You and, s- wait. Who else is, was at this? Spoiled yeah. it. To, at the, 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 f- the fanboy thing. Oh. The Lord of the Rings cast. We can go through the entire list here. I was getting ready to. Kevin Smith was there? Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Okay. And And Joey Joey Lauren Adams Adams from many of the movies. Sean Astin, Billy Boyd, uh, Dominic Dominic Moynihan, Lawrence 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 McCarry is Is, there. Is that uh, Pippin? I believe so. And then John. Nope, that's not Pippin. (laughs) Oh. John Reese Davies. uh, Okay. Obviously from Lord of the Rings, but Indiana Brandon Jones, of course. I don't know who that is. Uh, she was in uh, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, 24 Legacy, mm. Homeland. I, I seem like I've seen her before. Craig Parker. I don't know who that is. Sala Baker. You know The entire the living cast members of Mama's Family <laughs> was there. Okay. The living cast of Mama's Family, Vicki Lawrence, all of them. Cobra Kai cast. They were there. I bet that was a big attraction. It was huge because some of my mom's friends actually went to go see them, and I've okay. seen pictures of them that they took with them. Willy uh, Wonka? It was a Willy Wonka reunion. The surviving cast came back together for that. So, wait, is it just, uh, what's the kid's name in that? Charlie. Charlie, yeah, Charlie Bucket. Charlie is, in the back. Is, is that him? That's the Char- him. That's Charlie. So, yeah, there's obviously no Gene Wilder. No, well, no, he's dead. I know. Uh, but yeah. And I don't think he'd be, I don't think he would go to fanboy. I think he might if he was around. But uh, Wayne Knight. But Wayne oh. Wayne Knight from Seinfeld really and fallen Jurassic, far from and, Seinfeld and Jurassic Park fame as well as Third Rock from the Sun. Lee Majors, sixty million dollar man, was there. Rob Van Dam was there this year, wasn't he? Lindsey Wagner, I believe so. Uh, who else? Adrian Let, Paul. Let's go. That let's, sounds. From, that's, that name sounds. Familiar. Holly Marie Combs, who if you're a fan of Charmed, she was on that show. Charlene mm. Tilton. Was there Mindy Cohn from the uh, Facts of Life? Was there uh, Armin Shimmerman? I was excited about that because being a Star Trek fan, he he played okay. he played uh, Cork. Guy. He played Cork, uh, the Ferengi on uh, Deep Space Nine, Star Trek. Deep Ted Space Lang. Nine. Ted Lang, the bartender from the Love Boat. He was there. Marla <laughs> Gibbs from the Jeffersons. Speaking Larry. of Seinfeld, the Larry Thomas, the uh, the Soup Nazi, was there. Um, Wait, who who are those guys? I'm not real sure. Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm just hitting the highlights here. Okay. Some voice cast, f- very famous voice cast. Rob Paulson, uh, Paulson. He does the voice of of Yakko on Animaniacs and, P- okay. and Pinky okay. of Pinky, Pinky and, and the, the Brain. Brain. Maurice Lamarch, who plays the Brain, was there. Uh, he also does the voice of Orson Welles, the the, the version of Orson Welles that we play on All the right. show and the Spoken Hot Toddcast. That's the voice that does it. Maurice Lamarch. He was there. A uh, bunch of other voice uh, over, and then yes, wrestling. We had, then we had Kurt the wrestling. Angle. That's going to excite Dude. DJ Pork. Jesse Ventura. Jesse the Body Ventura. He was there. As the, as Kurt hey, he Angle. Was, hey, he did he run for governor? Or was he governor, he was governor of, of, of Minnesota? Minnesota. Yes, right. for like a turn. Oh, uh, the Hardy Boys. Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash of UT was there. fame. Yes. Rob Van Dam. Eric Arndt was I there. I don't know who that is. Rob Simmons. I don't know who that is. Don't he, either. Ricky Steamboat. Yeah. But uh, uh, Rebby Hardy and don't know. Gothic something. Brock Anderson. And they Devon had Devon Dudley. Dudley. Yep. Wait, scroll back up a little. There's one more in there. Arnett. Okay. I don't yeah. know who that is. And there you go. It was a star studded fanboy this weekend. They had Devon. Devon was there, Pork. You they, could have gone. They spelled it Devon in that. <laughs> well, they totally messed it up. It's, well, they tried. It's D hyphen V O N. Give them a break. Give them a break. They did their best. 